It really hurt last year in Spain that it came down to a putt here, a putt there. And you have to say that's kind of what's happened this time as well. The US just hold more putts in the Europe, plain and simple. It's the oldest cliche in golf, but that really was the difference between the two sides. And the USA will really enjoy this victory. Two more matches still to complete. Madeleine Sagstrom, I can just see coming down 18 now against Sarah Schmelzel and Lynn Grant in that anchor match against Jennifer Cupcho. Just a few minutes ago, we were talking about it potentially coming down to that anchor match. Not quite to be, but my goodness, we've had a fantastic, dramatic final day here. And Europe, just when they thought that it was um, completely done and dusted, they managed to just turn it round and give us a little glimmer of hope. Not quite to be for Suzanne Pedersen after last Last year's thrilling draw in Spain. The USA have got their hands on the Solheim Cup and nothing, nothing beats team match play golf. We have had a thriller here on the banks of Lake Manassas. We have, Jamie. You've been able to enjoy it across the full three days. Um, when you look across those three days, you mentioned already it's the Friday, really, that is the difference here. I just wonder from what you've seen and from the previous Solheim Cup last year as well, which was another slow start for Europe, a uh, really quick start for USA in both of the last two Solheim Cups. Do you think that's something that Europe will particularly look to work on so that maybe they don't have to mastermind these incredible comebacks or near comebacks in the future? Yeah, look, it, it, it's such fine margins here or there, Jasper, to be completely honest with you. And they just got out of the block slowly on Friday. Yes, they did it last year and they were able to get away with it. But what it meant was that Suzanne Pedersen was behind the eight ball and she, she had to, to ride her best horses for the rest of the Solheim Cup. Plan A kind of went out the window and the likes of Charlie Hull and Emily Pedersen, who were her, her go-to players, who may have well, in an ideal world, may have wanted to be rested for a session. They had to play all five sessions. Charlie Hull... Look out out there today, six and four demolition of the world number one, Nelly Corda. But Emily Pedersen did look fatigued, having played so much golf over the first couple of days, and she got a shellacking from Megan Kang, six and five. On the contrary, on the flip side, Stacey Lewis, because she had a healthy margin um, throughout from that opening session on Friday morning, she was able to stick to the game plan, and her game plan was that no player would go all five sessions. She was able to sit Nelly Corder yesterday afternoon. She was able to sit Lauren Coughlin yesterday afternoon. She was able to give Megan Kang a rest as well, and that meant all of her team were fresh coming into Sunday. So I think that has been the difference. If you get off that slow start, then it means plan A has to go out the window, and suddenly you're behind the eight ball, and you're having to sort of play catch-up. And that's what happened for Europe this time around. In two years' time in Holland, it may well be a different story. Who the European captain is remains to be seen. Would Zan be tempted to stay on for a third? I highly doubt it. You're looking then perhaps at one of the vice captains this time around, perhaps Anna Norkvist or Mel Reid. Both of those will feel as if they've got one more playing Solheim Cup in them as well. So that's all to come in the aftermath. For now, let's let the USA enjoy what has been a sensational victory. Last year in Spain hurt them. It hurt Stacey Lewis. It hurt all of those players involved in that team. They've had to come back. They've had the bit between their teeth from session one here at Robert J uh, Trent Jones Golf Club and they've pulled off a sensational victory. A victory that an hour or so ago looked as if it might be in doubt but they've managed to just get over that finish line 